Okay, Courtney, it's recording. Do we have the go ahead to start? Okay, I'm gonna rock and roll. I think that I'm allowed to just like run with this and do my thing. So I'm gonna do that for you guys. Let me share my screen with you here really quickly so that um, you can kind of see what I'm talking about as I go. And also just selfishly for my sake, it helps me to stay on track, okay? So my name is Dana Moore. I am a presidential diamond and I've been doing doTERRA for about seven years. And in 2014, I did Diamond Club and absolutely loved the experience. I, I did it alongside one of my teammates, one of my top line qualifiers, Jenna Cross, who's also presidential diamond. And throughout all of Diamond Club, we were frustrated with the tools that we were working with. Sometimes they were just out of stock or things had changed or it was just a tricky, a tricky time. And I'm sure those of you that are in Diamond Club or you know, have ever just been like, my favorite tool isn't available. Um, that makes you feel like your business kind of can stall or it's just a mind game, you know? And so through that time, that's when Jenna and I started creating content together. And that has evolved um, over the years. It's changed. It's taken on many different faces. But most recently, we have developed this curriculum, this continuing education curriculum that's an eight-week course. And that's what we're going to dive into today. I'm going to teach you what, what it's for, what are the best ways to use it, all of that good, juicy stuff, okay? So let's see here. Okay, one of the things that I'm most passionate about in doTERRA is our retention rate um, and creating lifelong customers because what we really want is not just the sale. We don't really just want the enrollment, right? We want them to be purchasing on LRP every single month because our bonuses really depend on that. Our um, unilevel, like there's so much treasure in that that we can kind of overlook if our unilevel isn't bulky and robust. And so this is designed to actually create a really, really strong foundation in your business, but also it's designed to make sure that your customers really are served well, that they have a really complete, thorough knowledge of essential oils, that they know exactly what to use them for, that they feel confident, that they feel supported, that they don't feel like it's a one and done deal for you. You know, like I got your enrollment and I'm going to move on and here I'm going to just like click you into what I have online. And not that those things are bad. I don't think any of those things are wrong or having online programs or drip campaigns are wrong. I just don't think that they are all encompassing and they don't serve everybody. And if you guys, <laughs> I'm sure you know this, but like some people just really need their hands held more with doTERRA and they really need their hands held more with their experience with essential oils and and this is going to help alleviate that so you put in the work on the front end and do eight classes um eight weekly classes and really give them a strong knowledge they're going to feel so much more confident and they're going to be uh less needy uh afterward because they just have have developed such like like basically they got their sea legs and oils okay now this is my family and these the reason i, I want to show you this is not because I want to show off my family, although I do think they're pretty awesome. Um, it's because you would never birth children and then leave them like kind of like I'm going to birth them and you work, you put in the effort to create them. You put in the effort to nurture them in the womb or you go through the process of adoption. Right. And you have children and then you don't like just kind of leave them like, okay, I gave birth to you now. Good luck. Like, Here's some snacks, I'll slide under the door and like, good luck on everything. Like I've done my job in this world, you know? And I think we need to have that mindset with our customers. It's like, we would never do that with our kids. They're always growing. There's, there's stages of it, right? They're learning to eat. We feed them a little bit at a time. Then they, they get strong, then they get independent. And I feel like it's like, like that with our customers. We can't just be like, I did it. I got you through the door. Your oils are now there, you know, good luck. And that's why I think that these like creating lifelong customers and this continuing education is so important um, because it actually gives you the steps to do. It's like, okay, now we enroll them in preschool. Now you enroll them in first grade. And it kind of tells you like, what do I do with this customer that I have and how do I make sure that they're supported and how do I make sure that they're maximizing and learning everything that they need to learn? And it is really hard to do that individually. Um, if you do that individually with your customers, that's awesome. Um, but if your organizations grow bigger, you'll realize that's impossible and you have to have a system in place to do that. 
and that's what I'm going to teach you how to do. So typically our cycle with our, our people is that, you know, that they're originally sampled. Hopefully they've sampled, they have a great oil experience and they're so excited. And then they come to a class and they enroll, right? We invite them to a class, they enroll. And then the education part is where we really need to focus on supporting them. And I promise you, if you do it this way um, and kind of like take the tips that I'm going to give you, you're going to have better customers. And an example is I enrolled two people yesterday um, and both of them doing it this way and making sure they were sampled first and taking the time with them to enroll them with what they wanted. They both created LRPs and they're both like chomping at the bit to be part of the education that we have coming up starting on April 4th. They're super excited um, to, to order more and they're super excited to like be part of the community that we have going for us because it's a big selling point. So when you do it right, it really, really works and they actually do your job for you. You're not like, now let's talk about that LRP really awkwardly, okay? Um, okay, so today I'm gonna talk to you about the details of continuing education and how to use these eight tear pads, the layout of how these events work for us in like live and in person, because I do a lot of that, but also we're gonna hit online too, because that's the reality is, is we shifted to online. We sh I should be every Saturday morning teaching these classes right now and I'm not, but the beautiful thing is that we can pivot easily and still serve our customers and not really miss too much of a beat, you know? So I'm gonna go through the benefits of it and also the magic of it and what it really does for your businesses. Okay, so the first thing is just within the details, this is supposed to be eight rotating classes and it's supposed to be for members only. And if we rotate through eight classes, if they miss a class in the series, they can make it up later. Now, if you're constantly rotating topics and they missed you know, essential oils for young and old or for every age, they missed that one, they're never gonna get to get it again if you don't repeat. And so it takes actually a huge burden off of you because it's eight classes and then you repeat. Um, and it's for members only, and this is really important, and it's not like we kick people out, like if someone walked in the door and they're like, I'm new, we're like, oh, well, there's the door, see you later. <laughs> we don't do that, okay? We totally let them come in and enjoy it, but we really emphasize that these classes are for members only, and typically we're only inviting members to it um, because it's a perk of their membership, right? There's value to these classes, and so it's, it's something that they get for free because they have a membership, okay? And then we do four business trainings to follow. And so you're repeating the business trainings twice in a series. So if it's eight topics, four business trainings, and then four business trainings, you do those twice because they're the basics. They need to be taught and retaught. And that's an important step too. We're not gonna get into that part as much tonight or today though. Um, you can do these in person or online. You could do them both ways. And I'll talk about that. Uh, we do treat this as a big perk of the membership. And members who come to all eight classes, they receive a reward. And I'll, I'll show you what I do that's really affordable, that's something you can duplicate in your teams too that have made people very excited and it's keeping them engaged, okay? So here are the, just the, the PDFs. I'm just gonna show them to you really quickly um, and you can get them on Oil Life, they're already there. Um, except for the skincare one, it's not there yet, but we had some amazing collaboration on that one with Dr. Jody Anderson and Tiffany Krieger Bryant. And um, that one is just a little bit delayed, but it'll be up there too, but you can start with these ones. Um, so we have, I have oils now what is the first one and it's designed to start with like basic topics and then build to harder ones. Like you don't want to be like, congratulations, you have your oils. Let's talk about women's health and hormones. You know, like that's kind of like a chunky class. Um, and we're gonna start with like, this is how we put stickers on. Let's review a few things, you know, like why do we buy our oils? Let's tackle our health concerns, you know? And so you start with I have oils and now what? Then we go into nutrition and supplements. And just a note that in every single class, we talk about lifelong vitality every single time. And it's not because like we're bored or don't have content it's because it's foundational for every single thing and usually someone needs to be told something or sold something or touched with something about eight times eight to twelve times before they purchase it and so this is designed to make sure that these customers eventually are on llv maybe not the first week or the second week but they're hearing it and they're hearing it and they're hearing it and that really um it serves a purpose and it totally works because then they 
give testimonies of their lifelong vitality to each other and they really help to sell this product too. So it's on every single one. And we do toxic free living, which of course is self-explanatory, but it's very basic and it's something that all newbies need. Then we teach oils for every age. And this is designed to actually hit all the gamuts of life. It's designed to hit the pregnancy class. It's also designed to hit, you know, children and um, the elderly we can, and every facet in between. Um, and I just want to give you a note that we're really strategic about this too, because if one of the classes was just pregnancy, birth, and babies, there's a massive demographic that would not be interested in that at all, right? So this class would hit every single demographic, age demographic, no matter what, and still be able to bring comfort, peace, and some education to like, you know, new mamas, but also our aging population as well. And so that's why if you're, you're like, oh, it'd be so great if you have like a pets class, well, that's not everybody's reality. So these eight classes are actually designed to really fit with everybody's reality um, so that every class pertains to every single person, which is a lot easier said than done. Um, then we have an essential skincare one, which, you know, we all have skin, so obviously it pertains. We have stress, sleep, and emotions, which we uh, find is a really popular class right now. We just did an emotions class today. We have women's health and hormones. And now this one, obviously, this is targeting women, but if 95% or more of our audience is women, we're still right on track, okay? So yes, this might not be a class for your men, but if you have a man that's a builder, he would definitely need to understand or at least have some knowledge of these products. And then we have, what's the last one there? I can't see because I think... Oh, essential oils and pain is the last one, okay? So then we move into what do we do after they complete it? Once someone comes to all eight classes, we give them, I'm trying to move the, your photo bar up there so you're out of my way here. We move, um, we move them through like a graduation of sorts. And so they get a certificate of completion um, and we printed those out and, and we make a big deal of it. Okay. So if we're online, we have to make a big deal of it online. But if we're in person, we're like, okay, we have people who've graduated, you know, this is so exciting. They've been through all eight classes. They, um, have completed the essential oil wellness course, you know, come on up. We give them a diffuser. It's a car diffuser. And then I have a grab bag and it's full of five MLs, not things like Rose and Melissa. Okay. But like basic 5 mls, um, things that I've gotten for product of the month, and then, you know, special things, some, a lot of the basics too. And they reach in and they pull a 5 ml out. So it's like a surprise oil. So that's their prize when they've come to all eight classes. Now it's, it's easy to do. And I really feel like that's duplicatable. If that's not doable for you, you could always do your prize as like a sample. They could get like a really fun sample and you could do, you know, diff, um, a, car diffuser and then like a sample of adaptive or something really fun, you know? So consider making it work for you if that isn't as duplicatable as I think it is. Um, but then we have people who will say like, hey, what if I come back again? You know, do I get the prize again? And so we created a second prize because I have zero problem with people coming back and doing another eight weeks. It's just gonna reinforce their knowledge. It's gonna reinforce their sense of community. It's gonna, help support their health, right? So why would I have a problem with that? So we said, sure, come on back. And if you do our course a second time and you complete all eight again, we'll give you a vitamin case, which picture there, they're available on Amazon and they're like around $4 and 50 cents a piece. So they're very affordable. And then um, we do this additionally and you don't have to, but then they reach into a grab bag and they pick out a supplement, um, a surprise supplement. And so I just put in uh, supplements that we have. Um, and now mind you, I have a very, very big team and a very big local team. I'm not giving away prizes all the time because it takes a long time for them to go through eight weeks. Um, like if you run this course right now and say you have 20 people online starting it, you might only have like two graduate from it in eight weeks. So it's not like you're going to go broke with prizes. Um, they're going to have to pick up the classes that they missed on the next round. So you're going to continue to do this every eight weeks. You'll do another series of it and then they'll grab, you know, the class that they missed. And that's why it's important to stay in order. It's important to make sure you offer all eight and then keep rotating. Um, and then there's a little picture of the wellness education series card that we use as well. This is just helpful for me to keep track. And so 
when they come into like our live classes, when we were meeting as a community, we would just initial the class that they were at. So they turn it in when they've been to all eight. And then I'll give you some tips for what do you do online though? Because obviously we're not initialing cards. I'll give you some tips in a little bit on that one because I have, I have a way to work that too. Okay, so let's talk about the layout of the day or the class, okay? Um, each class should only take about 45 minutes of education, okay? These are 2.0 classes. You can value them if you want. You could say like one of the perks that we give to our members is that we offer a $500 package of essential oil education for free. That's how we support users in our community. This is available to you. These are the classes, this is the link, or this is the location or whatever. Um, and the classes are about 45 minutes. And then we take about a five minute break and we give them the invitation to stay and learn about the business. So we're really talking about like, listen, and one thing that I say is I say, listen, you guys, our education for today is over. And if you need to go, feel free to go. But if you want to stay, I'd like to share something with you about doTERRA that's honestly more exciting to me than even the essential oils, because it's what changed my life the most. And I'm going to talk about the option or the idea of doing doTERRA as a business or a side hustle, because it was life changing for me. And I want to share that with you. So if you want to stay, It'll be another 45 minutes. We made a really fun snack. You're welcome to, but if you want to go, we're going to transition in five minutes. And that way the people who need to leave feel totally free to leave. But honestly, a lot of people stay because they're like, well, I'm here anyway. And that's the whole point, right? Because we can introduce them to the business and really share our hearts about how doTERRA has changed our life in that segment. Okay. And then the business portion is about 45 minutes as well. Um, okay, let's talk through some benefits here. Obviously, I'm sure you can like draw your own conclusions on the benefits, but um, I want to point out some things because I want you to understand what this does. So online is a little different, but in person, when this COVID-19 lifts and we're able to meet as communities again, it's an incredible amount of community support. Like we're meeting together, we're talking about um, our health concerns, People are coming and they're sharing, like they're pulling out their oils from pretty cases and they're like, oh, where did you get that case? And they're like, oh, I got this at Oil Life. And they're, they're promoting like oil usage to one another, right? They're selling this to each other as customers. So there's a great deal of, of support there. And they'll be like, oh, you need to order this. It's my favorite, you know? And that's education that happens without you having to do anything. It happens just naturally in this kind of a setting. Um, we also are able to really introduce anchor products like Life Lung Vitality, Terrazyme, PD Assist, um, the top 10 oils, because the goal is that they would come out of this with at least five products that they can't live without, that they're like, every month, I have to have Life Lung Vitality, I have to have Frankincense, you know, I have to have Balance or whatever it may be. And when they have those products that they're like, I cannot live without this, they will be on an LRP forever. And so that's the goal of it, um, you know, is to really figure out what are their anchor products? What's going to anchor them to doTERRA, right? Why would they reorder? Well, it's because for the first time in their life, the heavy feeling in their chest has lifted and they'll never be without that oil again, you know? Um, it's very thorough education. That's a benefit. So again, you don't find that your customers are needy because once they've been through eight weeks of education, they really feel like they know this stuff, right? And you'll even hear them like tell their friends like things about it. Um, and, you know, of course they're not selling and not sharing or anything yet, but you find that they like, they can't help but want to share their knowledge and that's a really good thing. Um, we get a lot of builder engagement um, through this too. And I will say like one of the best things for us uh, here locally is as many, the builders who show up to be part of this when we do it in person, bring a certain energy that isn't there if they're not there. Like if it's just me and a bunch of customers, it's eh. But if it's me and customers and then a handful of builders, it's a totally different thing. There's, there's excitement, there's sharing. Um, it changes everything. And so there's a lot of engagement and even builders who maybe aren't typically teaching a lot or maybe have you know, fallen away when they come into that environment of continuing education, they perk back up. It's kind of like giving a dead plant some water and you just kind of see them like life comes back into them. And I love that. Um, it's one of my like tricks to get builders like fluffed back into action. So we get that, but then even online, like today online, 
we did an essential oil uh, emotions class and there was a ton of builders on there, like tons of diamonds and blue diamonds. And um, there was new people too, but just having each other on there, like we teach better, right? Because there's like energy. And so um, that's one of the major benefits. And there's also a way you can engage builders and I'll, I'll make sure I talk to you about that. And then you can find more builders through this too, because you're constantly talking about the business. You're bringing it up at the end. You're like, guys, the icing on the cake is that not only are these products amazing, but there is an amazing compensation plan too. And so because you're talking about that over and over again, again, it's just like a touch. It's another touch. It's another touch. You're planting these ideas in their mind. And maybe the first time it's like, that's crazy. I would never do that because I felt that way. And maybe the second time we're like, that's not for me. I don't really care about this part, which I also felt right. And then the third time they're like, oh yeah, this is what they do. They talk about the business. And the fourth time you're like, huh, maybe I could picture myself doing this. And the fifth time, the sixth time. And then finally they're like, they're sticking around because they're interested in what you have to say. And now it's not such a crazy colossal thought. Now it's like becoming their reality. And that is a huge, huge shift when we are talking about finding builders, right? And like touching them. And so when it comes to sales, um, I'm not always, I'm always selling. I'm not always selling oils. I'm selling ideas. Sometimes I'm selling concepts and I will touch on those over and over and over again until it becomes their idea and not just mine. And so if you think about it that way, you'll find you're a lot more successful in finding partnerships in this business because you're, you're talking about it so much that it, it just works, that it sells itself, but you have to do all the touches. Okay. Let's talk about the magic of this. I obviously love it. It has worked for us. Um, but the magic is you have really excited and educated customers. So customers that have feel like the level of support that you give as a team is incredible and they feel it, they know it. Um, and not everybody does this kind of stuff, you guys, not everybody does. And so they're like, well, my team doesn't do that. And not that we're trying to expose teams that aren't great at education, but don't let your team be one that isn't, you know, make sure you're part of a team or be the team who is awesome at education. Um, we have engaged builders, builders who have a role to play. They show up. Um, a lot of times I have builders come and I'll have them do simple things too. Like I want you to greet everyone at the door with bottle orange and peppermint. And I need you to bake brownies with peppermint oil. Um, I need you to come early because we just need good energy there. And you're so great at greeting people, you know, like I'll, I'll really bring them in and teach them what I want them to do because they need to be kind of sold on this too. Right. Um, another thing that comes out of this is trained builders. So teaching is mastery. When you, when you can teach something to somebody, that's when you have truly mastered it. And I don't teach all eight of these classes by myself. I could teach them all. I could definitely teach them all, but I don't do that because I, I know this information and I'm really confident in sharing it, but not everybody is. And so the goal is like Jen and I have designed it, that we, we reach out and we call people up like, Hey, I think you'd be great at teaching essential oils and pain. And you have a great testimony. Can you learn this content? Can you teach this class? And then that person might teach the pain class, you know, every, every eight weeks, every rotation. And so the more that you have builders engaged in that way, the more you share the load, but you also all will grow a lot more if you're willing to relinquish some control on that. Now, if you don't have great builders yet, or, or maybe they're not this, as strong at teaching, give them a chance. Maybe even ask them to like teach in Zoom and record it and send it to you um, if they want the opportunity. I don't necessarily go by rank on this. I go by how good they are at like communication and presence and smiling and energy. Those are the things that really matter to me even more than the content. Um, and I know their content is clear because we're a good team and we really teach well, but I need to know that their energy is gonna be good too because these people are giving up time to be there. So they want it to be exciting and engaging. Okay, um, you do create a reputation in your community. If you are doing these classes in person, people in your community start to know because you have, you know, maybe you're renting a community space or whatever, and you have this wellness education and you can actually promote it in your community on community boards and different things. And now obviously it's for members only, but 
these wellness classes, the buzz gets out about them. And we have people be like, well, how do you get, how can I be a part of it? And we say, well, your ticket in is having a doTERRA membership. And so then they'll proceed to figure out how to do that. Um, this also brings really strong residual income. Um, one thing about me as a builder is I've never been a top enroller, um, but I have a really high retention rate on our team and I have great leaders because my skill set and my, what I feel strongest in and most passionate about is developing leaders and creating great customers. And so that's what we've done. And we reached presidential diamond in about two and a half years with that in mind and never once a top enroller. Um, and when you're like, just so you know, like how honest I'm being, like my best months ever, I've enrolled 12 people in those months. And I've done that a couple of times, but typically I'm not enrolling that many people. I'm just enrolling really quality people. And I'm finding people that want to build this business because I'm always talking about the business. Okay. Yes, builders, lots of builders. Okay, here's a few tips for you. Things that you might not have thought of or things I can just answer before you even ask. It's important that you establish a set day and time and you stay consistent. So obviously now it'll be online if you get started here soon. You can teach online and just be really consistent. So for us, we have classes every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. That's what we did locally when we had them in person. We're just transitioning and we're doing the exact same time, the exact same day, because that's what our people know and we're gonna stick with it. Um, and it's just important to do that. Maybe you, you're renting a space somewhere eventually and it, it's not maybe optimal or you don't love it. Stick with it for eight weeks before you make a switch if you can, because it's just a matter of like, you, you lack momentum when you change things up all the time. Like people need to be very clear about where you are. Okay, invite your customers to these in at least five ways. This is probably the most important thing I'm gonna say today. So I want you to pay attention. I want you to write it down because one of the worst things that you could do is put all the time and energy into preparing, practicing your class, um, finding space or, you know, you know, putting on your makeup, getting ready for your Zoom every week or whatever it is that you do, you put so much time into it and then like two people show up and you're like, what is wrong? Like I have so many customers, why would only two people show up? And it's because you've only invited maybe one way. Maybe you posted it in your Facebook user group. And that is not enough to get the word out. That is just not gonna work. People need, again, to be sold the idea or touched on at least you know how many times three five seven nine just depends and so it's really really important that you touch on this education as much as you possibly can so i would recommend like posting in facebook i would recommend emailing it out to like a like a group email maybe you have different leaders email it out according to where they're at look you know in location or whatever um sometimes we have like Maybe your silver leaders each take care of their leg and invite their people through that. Um, one of the best things that we've done is create a texting service and we text people the link for the class. We text them the topic. Uh, we tell them they can, you know, type in class to keep getting reminders or they can hit stop to be like to opt out. And so either way, we, we take care of them, you know? Um, the other thing is, is, all my personal enrollments, I text them personally and be like, hey, I wanna make sure that you saw this, I tagged you in the post, um, but just know this is for me. I'm excited to see you there. I would love, you know, love to connect with you. It's been a while or whatever. And so we take the invitation part of it very, very seriously. And I'll tell you guys, this makes all the difference because locally I have almost 5,000 local customers in my town. That's a lot, right? So we were doing some continuing education and then like five people were showing up, seven people, maybe 12 on a good day. And I was like, what in the world? Like, this is not, this is not worth my time in that sense. Like I'm leaving my kids. We picked Saturday for our team, you know, that kind of stuff. Well, I was just like, I just don't think anyone's getting the word out. And I think that even builders were assuming that if they posted it, everyone would know about it, right? So we got on Zoom with all of our local builders and I was like, listen guys, we have got to change how we're inviting. We've got to go about this a different way. And I taught them what I just taught you. And the next week we had 50 people show up. And so it made all the difference and we've still, we've had a full house. The next week there was even more. I was like, oh my gosh, we started having to pull chairs out of the closet to accommodate people. And I was, I'm thrilled with that. And I feel like 
once, you know, once we're meeting again in person, we're going to have even more, you know, a stronger sense of numbers there too. So many new customers are enrolling right now. We'll be ready for them. Okay. Um, it's important. Another tip. I said this before a little bit, but have as many shares and builders there as possible because it just changes the energy. And it's even in this, like touch them, ask them, reach out individually and say, Hey, I really need you there. Were you planning on being there? Because I need someone specifically to greet with like, you know, a lot of happiness and, and you're a great person for that. Or I need someone to give people hugs when they walk in the room or, um, I need help with cleanup and you know, like, I don't want to put you in garbage duty, but you're like such a faithful helper. Can you come and help me with that? You know, um, those types of things. I have uh, some team members, some builders locally too, that whenever they bring people with them, like customers, they always take their customers out for like a coffee or chai or something like that right after the class. And they kind of just create this little wellness community, even like when the class is over, it still goes. Um, make them fun. These classes have to be fun, even online. Um, ask for testimonies every time online or in person, like, Hey, we're going to talk about balance today, blah, blah, blah. Who has an awesome testimony for balance that can share it in one minute. It's really important that you put like time parameters on or people will run away with the information. I just want to talk, 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 but, um, they want to share and it's really fun to have them share. And again, that helps to sell that product to everybody else because it's one thing for me to say it, but everyone knows I stand to gain when I talk about it. Right. But it's a whole nother thing for them to sell to each other. Um, so testimonies are magic. We also pass oils no matter what. And so like, even if I'm pulling out trusty old peppermint again, I still pass it around the room because everybody takes a huff of that peppermint, puts it on, and remembers how much they love doTERRA. I do not think that I have ever not had a peppermint experience. Like every time I do that with peppermint, it's an experience. And so just don't get into the, the mode of like, oh, these people, they've, they've been here for eight weeks now, they've smelled it all. Doesn't matter. Pass, 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 pass those oils, okay? And really engage. Like, ask them questions, laugh, you know, really kind of stir up um, the sense of community. It doesn't have to be like a stuffy presentation. You know, it's supposed to be engaging. It's supposed to be fun. Who wants to share what they wrote down? You know, that kind of stuff. Who wants to share one awesome thing they learned from the class? You know, things like that. Um, and make sure you just be the energy you want to attract. Like, what do you want them to say about your online class or your event? Like, what do you want them to say? Like, well, that was a real snooze fest. You know, and I mean, the teacher was informative, but she was monotone, you know, like I think about those things. I'm like, I want them to say like that they loved it, that they, they were so anxious when they walked in and they left them so relaxed because of the oils and they made a new friend and they felt supported and that they can't wait to come back next week. You know, that's what I want out of these. And so if I want that, I have to create that so that they feel that. I can't just hope that they feel that way. Like, oh, I hope they feel good when they're here. And then don't do anything extra special. You know, I really need to make it special. So consider that. And when I say that, it doesn't have to, doesn't mean like I decorate and like streamers are going off. You know, it just means that we, we look people in the eye. We consider them important. We talk to them. We engage. Um, it's so much more than just the content on a PDF. Okay. Um, online tips. This kind of matters more than ever. It's usually like the last thing I share, but I want to share it with you guys. Um, definitely like when it comes local to local classes, I like to have all my local people show up in person because of everything I just shared, all the benefits and the magic and things like that. Now we're just in a different season, right? We've had to pivot in a way that we've had to be like, okay, idealistic things have to get thrown out the window. And now we have to build online period, you know? And so typically, if we weren't all quarantined, I would invite those who can't participate locally to an online option. But now we're inviting everybody to an online option. So everyone's invited to these online classes for now. When this is over, we'll go back to our local people are invited to join in locally. And then all my team members that are like out of town, they can join online. Um, definitely host on Zoom like this because you want to be able to interact. You want to be able to ask for those testimonies. You want to be able to say, you know, all of you have oils, whatever oils you have in your house, put them in front of you. And we're going to play with our oils during this class because 
I'm going to mention some you're going to have. Let's take a good sniff of those. Let's play around with them. But then I'm also going to mention ones that maybe you don't have yet. So make sure you can write those down, you know, and you can help them to kind of create a wish list and which will later turn into LRP, right? Um, again, bring all the energy. Online is harder, you guys. It is harder in the sense that there's not palpable energy that is like transferred between people. I can't hug people, right? I can't smile at them. I can't like have that one-on-one -on -one connection when they walk in the room, you know? I can't say like, oh, hey, how's, how was so-and-so or how's your son doing or whatever, because we're online, we get started. It's just kind of how it is. So make sure you show up with energy, make sure you show up with um, like that same kind of like personality and the warmth that you would bring in person in a bigger way because it's it's online and gosh smile like <laughs> for sure smile i'm so glad you guys are here i can't wait to get started today's one of my favorite topics why don't you go ahead and comment what oil you've already put on today like what's your favorite oil today go ahead and comment and we'll keep going you know um that way they're just like they're starting to be like okay this is fun right you know um but if you don't do stuff like that you're like okay today we're gonna do i have oils now what because you probably don't know what to do with your oils. You know, the energy is just like blase and you don't want to do that. You want your energy to be really fun. It's really important to have good lighting, good sound. And maybe this goes without saying, but like my computer right now is on a box. that's like this high. So it is, my camera is exactly at my eyes. So then if you were sitting there with me, you would look right into my eyes, right? I'm not looking down on you. You're not above me that's awkward. And so this makes it as comfortable as possible that we would be like as face-to-face -face as possible. And that's important too. It's also important to have good lighting. Like if the window was behind my head, it would give you a bad glare. So every time you looked at me, you would be like, ugh. Those things matter because you want people to not be distracted, right? You want them to be like, okay, I need balance or I need lifelong vitality, not like, oh, the glare is driving me nuts. It's distractions and you can do everything possible that's practical to get rid of those distractions so that these classes go well. Okay, what do I have left? That's it, just questions. So I'll stop sharing so I can see your faces. Um, let me know, does anyone have questions you wanna unmute and talk through? I'm happy to answer. Oh, I see a lot of my friends on here, hi. Knut, I like your hair. This oil life is not gonna be happy with me right now. Sorry, oil life, I just saw my friends and felt like I owned the Zoom. Okay. Um, they're like, stop talking to people like that. Um, okay, let me look in the chat. If you put questions in there, I would never have saw them. Do you do the same transition from education? Yes, I do the same transition. So we've been doing three, we did just did three online like intro classes the last couple days and um, what I did was I said, okay, we're done for now. Um, we're gonna actually stay on, a bunch, of, a bunch of us are gonna stay on and just kind of chat through a little bit about the joy of sharing doTERRA because doTERRA has changed our lives in a big way and we wanna invite you to stay on as well. So if you need to jet, you can just click end meeting and you can go, thanks for being on. But if not, and you wanna stay, like stick around, we're gonna chat for 15 minutes. Now, typically you're gonna do longer for these, but we've been doing intro classes, so an intro to business is short, in my opinion, okay? Um, Carolyn, you said, would love input on the hormones class. Can you expand on what you're asking? You can unmute if you want to. Hey, Dana, this is so fantastic. Um, How are you? Yeah, so that you said is a pretty robust class and I haven't taught the workshop yet. I got a little intimidated and switched out my schedule so I could put it <laughs> off a week. So <laughs> would just love to hear maybe a snippet of how you might cover one section of it just for an idea of how in-depth you sure. Well, to be totally honest, that's Jenna's. Um, Jenna's content is women, women's health and hormones. Um, but what I would say, and I just had a, like, she might've been a premier leader teach this in St. Louis. 
and she just sat down and studied. So she just read it and she's like, okay, I can talk about that. I can talk about that. And she's like, I don't even know what that means. And she would look it up and put a few talking points on the sheet and somebody else asked for scripts. I will not give you scripts because what, what you're asking for is honestly like, you're asking me to sell you my soul, you know, to, to write out scripts. But also like what I say is very much, um, like based on testimonies too, you know? And so like it, the PDFs are designed to give you a guide of what oil would you talk about here? What is, what are the top sellers for one? Like we love talking about balance, right? We love talking about um, adaptive. We know what people love. So we hit on those, you know, you don't see geranium on all these lists or anything like that. Okay. So uh, we know what we, we know what people love, but then also like you have testimonies with that too. So those are things to put in, but I am going to record like a voice recording of kind of like how I would flow through each PDF for you. I just don't have it done yet. In fact, it was supposed to be done before this, but then COVID hit and now I homeschool. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like the rest of you where I feel like the world turned on its axis and I just like, I'm still not quite straightened out. So we'll get them to you. Um, and this puts being on this call puts a little pressure on me to get that done. Um, but yeah, you need to study and, and you guys, I was not a good teacher of essential oils in the beginning. I will just tell you that I wasn't great. And I was actually terrified to do it because I thought I had to know things like mass spectrometry and gas chromatography and like big words that I, the only reason I can say it now is because I practiced like 9,000 times. Now I have never said those words in a class. You don't need to know any of that stuff. Okay. <laughs> but I would be like, okay, to, you know, the next oil we're going to talk about is frankincense. And frankincense is, and then if I found myself, without like three good talking points, like three nice, easy, happy talking points, I would go open my book, right? Open my like, um, you know, hardcover book, Modern Essentials or Essential Life book or whatever, open it up, find it and be like, okay, what are my favorite three things about frankincense that I can talk about? And I put them in my notes and then that's what I would talk about. And now I practice again, okay. So today we're gonna talk about frankincense. And this is what I love about frankincense, you know, and what you love about frankincense and what I love about frankincense are actually different. So you don't want a script for this class in the same sense because you want to share what you love because your customers are going to connect with you really, truly. And the other thing is, is I, and I, I'm, I'm not taking a cop out from trying to like not do work for you is just that you will become a phenomenal teacher if you take the time to really prepare for this, the class. Now I, if you have to teach all eight, you have to teach all eight, but it's very likely you can partner up with Crossline and Upline and builders on your team. And like, you can create a group and you're like, let's all teach one of these. Let's invite everybody's team online and take turns. And so you might only learn the one class, right? And if it's, you know, women's health and hormones, and that's the hard one for you, I would just push yourself because you'll conquer it. And the more you teach it, the better you're going to get. And then you're going to be like, you know what? I love teaching women's health and hormones. It's like my thing. Whereas it might've been something you would have never tackled without kind of being pushed into it a little bit. Okay. Um, Jennifer. Yeah. So basically just highlight three things for each topic. Yeah, totally. Like if I'm covering an oil, you just don't need to beat it to death. There's a lot of content on these. Some of it you could skip over to, cause if you're like, you know, maybe your whole class, They've all heard about balance six times and you're like, Hey, you guys got balance down. I know everyone loves it. I'm just going to, you know, keep using it. Let's move on to whatever the next one is, you know, just kind of being hypothetical, but, um, you can kind of do what you need to do there. Okay. Let me just make sure business handouts aren't done yet. You will have PDFs for those as well. They're just not done. And then let me go ahead, if you guys can just watch me do this real quick, just watch my face real quick. I'm gonna throw in here the link for the PDFs, the downloads online, because um, I want you to order these on Oil Life so that you have them ready. Um, but right now, it's a little tricky, isn't it? So let me see if I can share this folder with you with the link and I'll, yeah. I love technology when it works the way I want it to. Okay, I gotta figure out where you guys went now. You're like not on my screen, okay. I 
think you can see me, but I literally, like my Zoom screen went somewhere. Where did it go? There you go. Okay. Um, you got to love the thinking face when you're like, where's the file that I need? Dana, it's there you Carrie. Go. Sienna. Hey, friend. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> we love your pretty thinking face as you're clicking things around for us. Hey, I have a question. You might have you might have shared this and I missed it, but in terms of the fact that we're doing everything virtually at the moment, when people are so when you're sharing the Zoom link to come onto these classes, are you emailing people out in advance the um, the PDF for the class so that they can have it and print it off if they want? Yeah, and that's just a great way to have another touch, like have a touch flow where you're like, hey, they get emailed the class or they register for the class or however you want to work it. Um, and then, you know, I'm so excited that you registered for the class. Here's the PDF. You can print it, whatever, you know, like you want them to have as much content as possible when it comes to that. Um, and when I do it online, you guys, to give them credit for the class, we, we just attach a quick Google link, just like how I threw a link in the chat for you. I would say, okay, I threw a link in the chat click on it right now and they put in like their name, their address, and then like what class they attended and it's a Dropbox, so it has like all eight. Because if I say like, what class did you attend? And they're like, I attended the, you know, whatever, pregnancy class. I'm like, we don't teach a pregnancy class, you know? So I like have to figure out what are they talking about? So anyway, make sure that you give them all eight options. They click on the one they, they attended and then like, what is something that you learned from the class that you didn't know before? So basically, they are getting credit. I'm like, if you don't fill that, out that link, I'll forget that you attended and then you won't get credit for being in this class. Um, and you wanna keep track because they're working for that prize. You know, like they love that prize. And so they're working hard for it. So keep track that way. Um, if you don't know how to do a Google form, you can learn it. It's just watch YouTube videos, they'll teach you real quick. Um, Okay, if you do Zoom now and record, do you post a recording? Um, that's a good question. We just transitioned to online. I do not think that I will post a recording. I'll probably record it for my own sake. And then you could always email it to someone who asks like, hey, something came up. I really wanted to be part of that. But there's not really an accountability to being at the class eight times if they can just kind of sort of watch them whenever. Um, and there's also like no interaction then, you know, like anyone can watch this recording. I'm sure oil life will post it, but like you guys were on, so you got to ask questions and there's just a whole different thing. And I don't know about you, but I never watch recordings. Like, even if I think I'm going to watch a recording, do I really watch the recording? I'm like, sort of watch the recording, sort of clean my kitchen at the same time. It's just different. And so I would think like, I wouldn't offer that unless somebody asked for it just because then they get really lazy about being part of the education, you know, and you don't want that. Um, okay, you talked about getting the word out to your community. Um, yeah, some helpful things that we have done, um, and it takes some time, but we've gone through like locally, like done local searches in our back office and then pulled all of their phone numbers out and texted them locally when we had them in person. Um, so I would use every avenue of communication that you can think of so that you get, you touch them in all the different ways. So email, you might as well consider it not have been communicated at all. Um, and Facebook is like getting lost in the mail, right? Because with like people just don't get notifications the same. Um, and with the algorithms that change all the time, how do we even know, right? It's hard to figure out. So I like, I use both of those, but I don't count on them. That's just the difference, okay? It will, it will touch people, people will see it, but don't count on it. And the texting service has definitely changed everything. So I do recommend looking into a texting service because we have used, some of our team has used one called Reach. It's an app called Reach. I use the app called Project Broadcast. Um, either way, and I don't, I don't do anything fancy with it. All I do is like text them the graphic and, you know, the class link or whatever, and the time, the information, whatever. Um, so I'm not fancy with it, but we're just really thorough and you can schedule it. So if you spend a whole day or a couple hours, whatever, getting this ready, like it go, you can schedule it to go out on Tuesday or you can schedule it to go out on Saturday. So they can even get a text like, two hours before the class, like if they opt in, 
and say like, yes, class. Then two hours before the class, like, don't forget, you know, essential oils for every age starts in two hours, you know, here's your link. And then the chances of them showing up just increase that much more, you know, cause like, don't you need to be reminded about stuff? Like I do. And Courtney with Oil Life, she's phenomenal. Like I got emails, she reached out to me on Instagram. She's like, hey, I'll see you in an hour. I'm like, yes, yes, keep telling me this, right? This is part of my day. And even if it's on our calendars, like things get derailed all the time for everybody. And so you just have to keep reminding people. And we kind of implement the same system where we call people to remind them about a class two days before and then text them two hours before. It's the same thing with this. We try to remind them using the texting service for these classes because they're already enrolled. But two days before they would get a reminder and then two hours before as well. Like, hey, don't forget. We're going to be on. Can't wait to see you. Lots of great prizes today or whatever, you know, and you can give, do giveaways for engagement and stuff just depending on what you want to do, but anything for them to be excited, like I'll, I'll give away all kinds of stuff when, if I can get interaction. Cause I kind of like love that about, you know, these things. So, um, hopefully that helps you guys. Um, okay. Is there any questions I didn't answer? I'm trying to scroll back through, but just want to make sure. I I have a quick question, Dana. Go ahead. Hi. How are you? Thank Good. you. How are you? By the way. Good. Um, is there a way we can get invited to one of your classes? Just see a little bit about how you run it. Um, let me think that I'm not teaching this coming like in April. I got to look at my schedule and see which one I'm actually teaching. But um, I have no problem with that if you just reach out to me on the side and I'll send you the link for one of them. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think when the next one I teach is. My team is teaching different times, so I'll, I'll invite you to one that I'm actually teaching. Okay, great. I think it might be April 11th is the first one I teach. Okay. Um, okay. So you guys, really though, um, let me just say a couple of things. The PDFs, you're probably going to be using them right now um, because you're doing them online. Um, one of the best things you could do, honestly, is mail your, like get, get the chair pads too from Oil Life because the print quality is so much better than like you printing it and mail it to your people that are, are willing to attend. Or you can mail them a packet, um, especially if they're your personal enrollments. I mail them um, invitations too, just like a you're invited, like you're invited to our next round of continuing education. Um, that's one thing I forgot to say is like, how do I reach out? They get real mail and I don't know about you, but I'm like living for mail right now. <laughs> I am literally like my office looks right at our front, like front of our house. And I can see every time someone pulls up and I was like, packages, packages, <laughs> because it feels like these are the only humans that we see right now, you know, besides my own humans and I'm done with them already. You know, I'm like, some days we're fine and some days I'm done seeing them. So um, I just think you would have the advantage right now that people love mail and are, have the time to look at mail. So why not send out mail right now? Why not send them out the PDF for the first one or whatever? Um, you know, a card, like a, maybe even a punch card in the mail, they can keep track of their own that they've been to, whatever you want to do. Um, and I saw some of there, I forgot to answer it. What about the certificate? I just used a template from Canva. I didn't, um, that's not fancy. I'm not a graphic designer. We hire a lot of that stuff done, but I just use a template in Canva and just print them on cardstock. And so that's really easy to do. Like if you don't have Canva yet, it's C-A-N-V-A and it's worth playing around. Again, you have more time probably now than ever to learn things that you haven't learned yet, but you can just look up certificate and they'll pull up templates and then you can switch out the colors or whatever, switch out the verbiage and you're good to go. So that's what I did. It's not as, it's not as fancy as it might seem. Okay. Anything else? Oh yeah, the class in the box invite. So that'd be a good thing to use, right? And then you can use um, wild orange as giveaways and, or, you know, all the fun stuff that can be things people win. 
Okay. Um, one of our biggest challenges, how spread out our team is hours and hours away and not strong builders in those areas. So in that case, doing them online might be your best bet. Like if you don't have enough to sustain it locally and you personally feel like, I don't know if I could teach eight weeks in a row always, you know, um, sometimes if you just have one other person though, that can do it with you a battle buddy and you just take turns, like you'll be impressed with how, how much you grow and how energized you are like by working together, but go ahead and do them online instead. And maybe it takes time, you know, and maybe your builders who maybe aren't great teachers, you guys, you don't have to have them teach the whole class, but you could ask them to share a testimony. Like you could say, okay, I'm going to be on uh, to teach about pain and I would love to share testimony. And I'm going to say, it's going to sound like, Hey, does anyone have a testimony? But when I say that I'm actually, I would love for you to share that one specific testimony about lifelong vitality that you, you know, um, and that's a good way to actually get sharers and builders to be on the calls because I mean, I know I just spent an hour sharing the value of this with you, but you'd be surprised even locally on my own team, how many builders are in my city and don't come to these classes and don't go out of their way to make sure their people know about them. like, why would you not? Right. It's a really fun thing. We, it's free. It's awesome. But just they don't know how to put the work in or they haven't sat down and just made the time to do it, things like that. And so I kind of give them jobs. Like I reach out to them individually. Like, hey, are you going to be there? I need your help. Hey, are you going to be there? I need someone to share a testimony, you know, that kind of thing. Um, hey, are you going to be on the call? Because I'm looking for this specifically. Hey, can you be there to just make sure people are muted? I'll make you a co-host. Can you, can you be on just to, you know, whatever, um, field, help field questions, that kind of stuff. And so we bring on as much engagement with our builders as we can. And at the same time, you're actually teaching them how to teach these classes, right? You're, you're actually training them up. Um, and it's not even maybe the obvious thing that's happening, but it is happening, okay? Um, Josephine, you don't have to mail them the class handouts. Um, I would, you know, I would personally, just because, for example, like most people can't print stuff or don't print stuff at home. I mean, I, I always take it for granted that we work from home. So we have like an awesome printer, right? I can print anything. Um, but a lot of people are like, yeah, I don't have a printer, you know? <laughs> like, so if you're like, here's the PDF, print it before the class, they might be like, uh, what is she talking about? You know? And so in that case, it might be good to, I would like go through your organization too and be like, what key customers are in like my power of three 1500 line? I need them on this call, like, and mail, you know, mail, like take your tear sheets, mail packets of eight to them or whatever and say, Hey, you're invited to this. It's going to be amazing. You know, whatever kind of thing. Um, and strategically invite too. I mean, I invite everybody, but then I strategically reach out to the people I really need to be on these calls even more so because I'm looking at where are my weak legs, right? So I'm not going to take a chance that they hopefully heard about this on Facebook. I want to make sure that everybody on that weak leg got a personal invitation in the mail to be part of it, right? Because five stronger LRPs can make a difference between rank or not sometimes. So because of that, you, you put in a lot of effort and the inviting part is actually kind of exhausting in a sense of like, it does take time, but it's the part that I think is the most worth it because then when you show up like on a zoom like this, like you click on zoom and you're like, Whew, you know, 40 people are on. You're like, all right, here we go. You know? And then if you, or if you do, you don't do it and you click on zoom and like two people are on and you're like, okay. Whew, all right. It's just so much harder to teach. It's like you're teaching to the wall, you know? So, um, you know, real quick. Um, go ahead. So you do send like all eight at once, not eight different mailings. I would send them all at once. If you sent eight different mailings, that's just a lot to mail, you know, and you could like save this packet here. You could staple a little schedule on to it, you know? Um, one of the things that I do for Zoom is when I have a Zoom, I shorten it to a bit.ly link, um, which is free. You just go to bit.ly bit.ly and um, you can shorten links up. So then like, for example, if you just walk with me a second, you, my teachers, my kids' teachers did this. They like said, here, go to this site and watch this. And it's like the longest link I have ever seen on paper. I'm like, how 
am I going to type in all of that to get to that URL? You know, like I was just like, I just told my kid, we're not doing that work. We're not doing that work. And he thinks I'm the best mom ever. They probably think I'm the worst mom ever. My point is, is if you type in this stupid long thing and say, here's your link to join this Facebook or the Zoom class, no one's going to get on because they can't click it, right? So you want to make sure they have the link digitally so they can click it. But then also if you shorten it, like, you know, continuing education or, you know, Carrie's classes or something like that, like, then they're like, oh, yeah, I can type in Carrie's classes. That's easy, right? It's not like a code. So just consider that um, aspect of it. I, I think I probably am giving you way too much information, but these are the things that I like. I like love all the details to be ironed out so that people show up, you know, if you make it hard for them, they won't show up because they're like, oh, I tried to get on that class, but that link was insane. They're like me as a mom. I'm like, we're not doing that homework. I don't know how to get on that link, you know, and I just like walk away and move on to the thing I can do. So that's why, that's why I do that. Okay. Um, what else? Yeah, the Zoom ID meeting is easy too, especially you can create your own Zoom ID numbers too. Like you don't have to use the pre, like prerequisite or pre-given Zoom ID. You can change that to something easy as well. So there's a lot of ways around it. Just basically time to really think it through. Like before you throw a bunch of stuff in the mail, like make sure that like if a woman who was 80 opened it, she's like, okay got it, right? She could do it, you know? Um, instead of like, don't make it complicated, don't make it weird. That's that's not good, right? No one's gonna join in. Um, membership consults are in editing, just so you guys know. I saw that question come up. Um, Laurel Lynn, it did start an hour ago. I think you might, it, I don't know, there's mountain time, there's mountain daylight time, mountain standard time, there's weird things happening on the earth right now. Don't worry, they recorded it. Um, yeah, yeah, I see she commented that you'll get the recording, so don't worry about that, okay? Um, okay, guys, anything else? Am I missing anything? I don't wanna miss your question, but I don't wanna sit here and just stare at your questions either if, if we're all good and like can move on with the day. Oh, how many different co-hosts can you have? You can have a lot. So even right now, like um, when I like when I scroll over your name, like if I scroll over Linda's name, the three dots come up. I can click on her name and make click make co-host. So I could do that for a couple builders, you know, and just be like make co-host, make co-host, make co-host. It's an instant thing, and you don't even have to do it ahead of time. And then now they have the ability to help mute people. Um, and that is honestly gold. Today at the class, there was a sweet old lady and she kept unmuting and I would mute her and she would unmute and I would mute her and she would unmute. And I think she thought the microphone was her speakers. And I don't know why she thought that, but she really was intent on like not being muted. And I was, <laughs> it was like probably 29 times we went back and forth. So, um, but I wasn't the teacher. So if I was, that would have made me absolutely nuts but my friend Spring was teaching. And so I was just like the muter. That was my job. I took it very seriously today. So um, I do mute everybody for the sake of recording. Um, it is one person unmuted can ruin everything for everyone. It's so distracting. And so we mute everybody. And then um, I say, feel free to unmute yourself. I'll say, listen, if you have a question during this time, we can't let everyone be unmuted all the time because your dog might bark and things like that. We want this to be an awesome learning environment. But if you have a question, go ahead and put it in the chat. In fact, let's practice chat right now. Um, and I'll chat in something like, um, where is everyone from? And I'll say, see how that orange thing came up? Go ahead and respond back to me. And so I'm like, now you know how to use the chat, you know, because it might be their first time using Zoom, right? So. I think the world is going to know how to use Zoom after this whole crisis is over, but like, you know, until then, there's still many people who don't know how. Um, and so definitely teach them how, and that's a good way to like break the ice two or three minutes before the class starts to say like, hey, you know, this is how this works. Go ahead and put in your chat. And I have friends on this call who are essential oil experts. I've learned so much from them. I won't be able to see your questions come through while I'm teaching, but they will, and they'll give you a quick answer. And then that way they feel like, okay, somebody's keeping up with them. Um, I do 
tell my builders that they are not allowed to go off on rabbit trails in the chat too. Like um, last night I had a builder go on and on about oils that weren't safe for cats. And the class was essential oils for the home. So we were like, it was an intro class, but with a little bit of a cleaning emphasis. Um, Cause we've been teaching intro classes all week, just calling them different things, just so people will join for different reasons. Um, but she just went off and that was like, I was like, Hey, I texted her on the side. I'm like, I don't think you saw my live, but the, the least helpful thing is to get on and talk about things that are going to distract people, right? If that's your person, go talk to them later, but we're just answering the basic questions. Cause otherwise everyone's looking like, wow, that's a long list about, um, you know, cats or whatever, um, whatever, you know what I mean? And then they're not focused anymore. So does that make sense? So I just tell my builders that I'm like, listen, if you're on, this is what I need you to do. I need you to keep the chat focused. If they ask questions that are off topic, you know, maybe just answer them on the side, that kind of stuff. And then it's just training builders too, to be really good at this kind of platform. And we need to be right. Cause we actually are forced into this right now. Um, but we can take it as an opportunity to get really good at online education. So I, I do know that the um, tear pads at Oil Life are limited right now. We didn't print a ton of them. They don't have like endless supplies. Um, so you guys are really kind of like the first in the know about that. So you can share with your teams and stuff. Um, and then we'll just see how much people are engaging and how well they're jumping into this continuing education and we'll do more for you. But I would um, snag them now because I don't think they're going to last throughout the week. And then we'll do another batch print later. Um, but it's kind of like if you're on the Zoom, you got the info. Okay. All right, guys. I think we're done. I have a presidential call I need to get on unless there's like a burning question. You can't like, you'll ruin your day if you don't ask. Everyone okay? All right. I hope you're excited about this. I hope you start implementing this right away. It's going to be a good focus for you, your team, and your customers, especially during the season. But we do this all year round on our team, and it works. It really, really works. So I'm so happy we finally can share with everybody. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for joining.